car rental company offers two plans for renting a car. Plan A, $30 per day and $0.18 per mile. Plan B, $50 per day with free unlimited mileage. The question is, how many miles would you need to drive for plan B to save you money? So here's like kind of a real life question, right? And uh, math is powerful because it can sometimes help us analyze and answer a specific question uh, that we might have in a very definitive way. Now we know that with plan A, if you're paying $30 per day, but yet every mile you drive, you're going to have to pay 18 cents. You know that if, let's say, you drive a lot of miles, this plan probably won't work out very well. This would be the plan to go with, right? $50 per day, even though it's a little more than 30 But you got free unlimited mileage, so you can drive a million miles. Wouldn't matter. Okay? But let's say you're not going to drive too many miles. Well, then plan A might be better. Now, the question is, if you're really trying to figure out how to save money, and you know how long your trip is, let's say, you can actually figure out definitively whether, whether you want to take plan A or plan B. Okay? So, how do we do something like this? We use math. So, for plan A, I will put that over here. Plan, plan A. Okay? How could I create an equation that represents uh, what is being stated in plan A? Well, I can create something like this. I could say something like the cost. Okay? The total cost. I'll write it like this. Total. Total cost of plan A would basically be equal to the $30 per day right, $30 per day, times then the number of days you're going to have the car, right? Number of days with, with the car. Plus then, right, so if you had the car for four days, five days, right, you just plug in five, and you know that if it's $30 per day, if you had the car for five days, it's going to be $150. But that's not the only thing, right? You're also going to be paying $0.18 cents Per mile. So then it's not only going to be then this fixed cost, right? Per, well, it's actually a variable cost because it it kind of uh, depends upon how many days, right, you're going to be using the car. Uh, but it also has then um, the 18 cents per mile. So now what I'd have to do is I have to take then my 18 cents. We're going to leave it in terms of dollars though. So 0.18 dollars. And then multiply that by now the number of miles. Right? And th wouldn't that kind of make sense that, let's say you kept the car for two days, so that would have been 30 times 2, and then if you drove, let's say, 10 miles, it would have been then 18 cents per mile, 18 cents per mile times 10 miles, this would have then been $60 plus then basically $1.80, and here, lo and behold, you would have had $61.80 you would have owed the rental car company. So this equation should hopefully make sense. Now, let's create a second equation then for, let's call it uh, plan uh, B. So plan B, we'll put it in blue. Plan, plan B. We're going to say now the total cost here for plan B, total cost, will simply be then $50 per day. So it's going to be $50 times the number of days, okay? times the number of days with the car. And then plus, well, wait a minute, it says free unlimited mileage. So if it's unlimited mileage, do we have to write anything here? No, right? I can put a zero there if I like, or I could just leave it blank. So these, and that should hopefully make sense, right? If you, if you had the car, let's say the plan B for five days, right? It would have cost you $250 and you drove 50 million miles, right? You made it halfway to the sun. You wouldn't have paid a dime, okay, for the mileage. So hopefully this makes sense. So we got really two equations here, okay? Now, knowing that we got two equations, let's now turn our attention to the question. It says, how many miles would you need to drive for plan B to save you money? So, yeah. Well, this is frustrating. We actually cannot technically answer that question without knowing another piece of information. What would we need to really know in order to kind of answer this question? What do you think now? Based on these formulas, what are you thinking? Well, we would kind of need to know how many days we have with the car. 
right? Because every single day, right, every single day, this option plan A is $20 cheaper than plan B, assuming that you're not driving any miles, right? Assuming you're not driving every, uh, anywhere. So the more, the longer you have the car, the cheaper than this one gets relative to this one, right? Because the first day would be $20 cheaper, the second day would be 40, right? 60, etc. So without knowing the number of days that you're going to have the car for, this question is technically unsolvable. However, though, I mean, the only way forward is to actually make an assumption. The only way forward for me would be to assume that I guess it's over a single day. I don't really know, right? It doesn't really say anything. Um, so there, there's definitely an error with the question. With the question. So that being the case, um, what I would do then is assume I have to make an assumption. Assume one day. Okay, assume one day. So let's just uh, so let's assume one day. All right, I can actually set these two kind of because the total cost has to be equal to one another. But then I'm going to have an unknown variable here, and again, those won't really cancel uh, with each other. So I, I have to make some assumption here. Okay. So now um, let's assume one day. So basically, the total this equation in black would have worked out to be. Uh, I'll write a TC. Total cost is going to be equal to then thirty times one, which is just thirty plus then. 0.18x, meaning the number of miles. The blue equation then would have worked out to simply be the total cost here is going to be equal to then 50, all right, times then x, representing the number, oh, excuse me, just equal to 50, not x. Now, the thing is, though, how do we figure out which one is cheaper? Well, why don't we figure out then when they're equal, when the total cost of the blue plan equals the total cost of the uh, black plan? In other words, the total cost of the blue, like I'm saying in words, I'm going to write an equation, the total cost of the blue equals the total cost of the black, or the total cost of plan B equals the total cost of plan A. If I now plug in what they're equal to, so that's 50, the total cost of plan A was then 30, 30 plus 0.18x. Notice here I have one equation with one unknown. I love that because we can solve, right? So this will be minus 30 minus 30. And then I'm going to now, um, right, this would be basically 20, do the subtraction, this is 0.18x, divide out the 0.18 from both sides, and we realize that when we plug it into the calculator, 20 divided by then 0.18 would work out to be exactly about $111.11. .11. So 111.11. Oh, it's not in terms of dollars, Andrew. What's X represent? It represents the number of miles. My apologies. So it's about 111 miles. Okay? 111.11 miles. Now this is technically, since I assume that this would be per day, right, or based over one day, then this is the number of miles you would have to, on average, drive per day in order for the two costs of plan A and plan B to be the same. So meaning that if you drive 111.11 miles per day. And we could state the answer in relation to per day, and that kind of, I guess, would answer this question. But again, it, you know, I don't, how many miles would you need to drive? They should have said, how many miles would you need to drive per, would you need to drive per day for plan B? If they said that, no, oh, easy. I wouldn't have to have made any assumptions. But without that, I'm assuming one day, and therefore I'm actually calculating miles per day. That being the case, this is the number of miles per day where the two plans are equal to one another. Okay? So, how many miles would you have to need to drive in order for plan B to save you money? Anything then larger than this, right? Anything larger than the 111 miles and 11 tenths of that mile, uh, we would save money if we went with plan B. Okay? So I can say like, you know, I'm just going to leave it all larger. I have to be <laughs> have to be basically larger than that. So if you drove 111.12 you're saving money by going on plan B. All right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe if we were able to help you with any problems. And I look forward to helping you with more in the future. Be well.